Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial on how to get to Guama and Mexico as John Marston in Red Dead. Uh, let's just get on. The reason why I'm in Valentine first is because you're going to need a lot of alcohol. Oh, no, not that. Uh, where is it we need to be going? We need to go down here and there's a little shack there so we go there and there's like a crevice there which we get into and then we get drunk and then we glitch outside the map you are going to need one cheat and that one cheat is just to like one horse like you just spawn in a horse because your horse won't be able to get into Mexico let's go buy some beer my outfit is currently inspired by the I Red Dead Redemption 1 outfit where he wears a duster coat so, right, liquor we're gonna Good need loads of alcohol so if I just get brandy and Kentucky bourbon and Kwama rum I should be set to go Again? All right. Okay, right. That should be more than enough. I'm glad that's fixed. Right, let's get on then. We should be able to fast travel. Peace. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. We need to run like now. Go horse, go. Oh dear. This is not why I move. Uh, we need to run. We need to run. Please don't give me a bounty. In fact, no. Why? Why am I doing that one? I can just like cancel the bounty. Ha ha. All right, let's get moving. Should be able to set up tent now. And we need to go to Thieves Landing, so fast travel, Thieves Landing. Also, I've been meaning to say thank you for 46 subscribers. It means a lot, so we need to get to 100. That's the next goal. Right, here we go. Also, I'm probably going to bring, uh... I'll bring my rolling block with, because then... Why oh, is it golden? Oh, uh, well. Then you can... I can probably show you... Where some of the things are because it zooms in a long way so it'll be handy oh dear they're after me I'll try and chase them I should get rid of them heck no which are the ones Ooh. That's in really bad condition, they both are. I'll bring my Springfield rifle instead. Firstly, I'll clean it because it's horrible. And luckily I fitted a scope to it, so I should be able to show you. Fort Mercer, I think. No, the Mexican one. 
Right, this is where the glitch starts. You come down to this shack. Easy I've been here a million times. So, it is right by Manteca Falls, by the San Luis River, right by Flat Iron Lake. And basically, you just want to. I'll give my horse some stimulants, so. Right, we need to get over here. Oh dear, that's bad. More stimulant. Well, it didn't do anything. Swim, 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 swim. Get up. There we go. Right, this is where the glitch works. You need to come on over to Easy now. any crevice. I personally find out how it works really good at this one. Never mind, it's not that one, it is this one here. So it's time to get absolutely drunk. I'm gonna drink all my moonshine. Cause it does it oh no, not that. It gets drunk really really quick. Should only have to drink around eight of these to get drunk. Eat one of them. Put that on my shoulder. So then I won't lose it when I do glitch into Mexico. Eat another one of them. And I should just be able to drink some, I don't know, guama rum. Suitable for the video because that's where we're going to be going. And I should be uh, drunk around, yeah, now. We wake up and we should be above the mountains. Okay, that's bad. Oh no, it's, it's good. Because we woke up here. And we are outside the map. We are officially in Mexico. Hola, call me familia. No, hoy es España. Over there, you might be able to see in the distance, there's the fort, which I was talking about. But now the horse won't ever be able to get up here. So here's what we do. We go into the cheat and you probably only want rum 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 for the race horse, which is the cheat. That's the fun part where we can get to Guama. So for Guama we need to go this way and it is just underneath the road so if I mark there this is where the long long journey is and it'll probably take me like 15 minutes to get there but because I've got a racehorse it'll probably take less because last time I done this I was on an Arabian so it was slow-ish Oh dear. Oh, yeah, probably a lot longer now because I've just been cut off by a rock, so I'm gonna have to get down there. So I need a slope. And it doesn't seem like there's one right by me. So if I ride towards that four, which I've lost, where is it? Easy now. Oh dear! How can I lose the four? Right. Anyway, there's run horse. Why won't you move? Oh, look, there's the, there's the fort. Whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. There's a slope down here. You go down here. And you should be able to get onto the floor, and then we start the climb, and then we should be able to get into Guama by riding along, going to roads. Oh dear, I wasn't looking where I was going. We go. On my express rounds in here because Guam is deadly and there's an invisible sniper there. Horse! Why would you do that? I can study it. Where am I going? We need to take a left, so we need to start riding in this direction. As you can see, there are trees because that's where the border for like Guama starts. I should have really done this at the day instead of the night because it would have been ten times easier. I know that there is another way to get to Kawama by um there's like a cave somewhere by strawberry, like right here, then you you do the same thing, you drink in a crevice and then you get drunk and then you spawn outside the map. Then you spawn a horse and then you should just be able to ride underneath the road and find a Armor. Now we go somewhere. Hey, look, there's a glitch inside a grit. Glitch, glitch, floating rock. Aliens confirmed in Red Dead. The reason why Mexico was cut from the game was because, like, space reasons, and it would have made the game really, really, really big and unplayable. So if you're following my gameplay and playthrough, which a lot of people done with the Arthur Morgan one, which at the time of this being recorded has 4,500 views, uh, just follow along. Basically, right here you want to ditch the horse and if you're lucky you can find a point where you can jump up the mountain so this might take me a while so it might be further up here there right there that's probably gonna be a sweet spot yeah and then you can that horse is stuck down there so I'm gonna help it out a little Bye, horse. <laughs> Lots of people are going to be moaning at me for killing a horse. But, oh well. Right, this is where we want another horse to be able to get to Kabama. You're a nice horse. Right, let's go. Now this can be extremely dangerous because you need to find a spot where you can just slide down like oh dear like there like there you slide down and you should be fine now we can ride underneath roads and get to Kawama plus lots of people were asking me to go back to camp as Arthur Morgan after I've done the glitch so I might be able to do that at a later date let's <coughs> go in first person no nope, let's not go in first person it's horrible especially by riding horse we should be entering Guama soon so we want to be going in this direction now 
Oh! Not my fault. It's the horse's fault. I just had to. It. Terrible horse. That's why I will now get myself a little bit of money. And. A random horse. Go give me like a random one. Ooh. Okay. What type of horse is this? Never seen this. Oh, it's a thoroughbred. It looks like the horse which he rides in Red Dead 1 as well, so... I'll, I'll keep it. But nearly hit a tree again. There should be... Yeah, right here. There's going to be a lake spawn. That's a good sign, because that means that you are... Now... In Guama. As you can see. Or, well, you're not in Guam, because if you die, then you're stuck on Guama forever. Plus, you can't have horses on Guama. So, if you want to go the safe route round, you go east and then down and then straight there. But for me, we're going to do it dangerous and we're just going to fall to our deaths and spawn there and be trapped there forever. So, we just ride. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Any minute now, we're going to fall through the floor and we're going to go, ah, splat. And we're going to be trapped in Glamour forever. No way out. But this is also a good way, if you walk there, to get all your animals for your Compodium up. Because some of the animals are exclusive to Glamour. Like, some of the macaws. Ready? Three, two, one. I mean, wait. Well, that was embarrassing. We'll just keep on riding. When are we going to fall? It's going to be any minute now. I'm just going to be like talking away and then we're just going to like fall through the map. I'm going to. Fall, like just like fall through the map. It sort of looks like the back rooms, like a back rooms level, just infinite trees and grass. I think this is where we're gonna fall. Oh no, horse bonding level one. It's a shame that this horse won't be alive for much longer. It's gonna fall in the ocean and die with me. I am sorry that this is taking so long, just... <sighs> oh, finally! There we go! Now we will fall and die in spawning karma. Dead. Now we should spawn inside of Guama. When the screen comes up, I'll check my map. Yeah, we are inside Guama, right by the camp which you spawn by at chapter 5, I think. Here we are. No mods needed. And let's beware, there is an invisible sniper though, so that will snipe you if you get too close to the bit in the middle but if you go speak to like some of the NPCs they do speak Spanish and stuff like that and a cool thing which I discovered about the camp oh if I can get up there I do this every video I'm Red Dead I slide down mountains there we go it's still there and there are guns which are there for the guards like that it, when I go to pick it up it says needed for camp guards never mind you can't shoot it 
there are interactables which you can pick up with and everyone's hostile if I can oh I picked it up there's still canned food and stuff like that oh what's this health cure I don't mind if I do I'll leave it at that so that there are birds in the sky so I just studied one for my exclusive thing and everything works as normal you still wanted dead or alive here oh no not that again don't want that now to end the video I'm probably just not gonna do that I'm going to go into the city and try kill everyone without dying to the sniper because he literally has aimbot oh look there's a ball oh dear it wasn't as it was ball. Ha ha, funny. Is it gonna be a two star? Oh, yeah, it is. I hate it when I water. No need for dead eye. Oh dear. I think there's like a scarlet macaw. Yeah. Right there. Hello, bird. Hey, right, this fellow I might need dead eye for. Green scarlet macaw. And now. Oh, no, not scope. Should be a log somewhere which we can walk on to get over the... Yeah, right there. Never mind, you can't walk along it, but there is a path which you can use to... Wonder if you can, like, sit on the edge. No, you cannot. I'm about to die if I fall off the... Which I... Right, there's your evidence of all the lawmen. I'm going to try and get them all off me. I need all my health back before they start murdering me. Oh, mushrooms. Come after me! Come on! I'm literally just shooting them, I don't do anything. What's that over there? Ah. Oh, no, it was something. Iguana. Oh, finally, now you come after me. Oh, they've noticed me. After what? Many, many, many mass murders of animal species. Come here, come get me. As you see, I'm right outside Gawama. 
The invisible sniper's going to finish me off any minute. Going in. Okay, that was uh, unexpected. Okay, right, that was a very stupid move from me. I sh I'm going to do this with no dead eye. Maybe I will do it with dead eye. Jesus. I need to get into the oh, the invisible sniper killed me. Well, that's where I'm gonna end off the video. I showed you the glitch. Like and subscribe. We need to hit fifty or a hundred uh... have a good day and i guess i will see you when i next do a video bye